Remember. I just started an unpaid internship at an aquarium, and one of my main jobs is taking care of the marmosets and tamarins. Quick, Griffin, what's a marmoset? Go. Don't think about it. Go. Uh, it's like a kind of a monkey. Travis, what's a tamarin? Go. It's a kind of a lemur. Those shouldn't be in aquariums. Those should be in so, zoos. I got it right. I got mine right. I got yeah. mine right. Thanks, Crap Brothers. Travis is... <laughs> Travis is... is it's a squirrel-sized monkey. It's an extremely small yeah. monkey. It's amazing. It's an extremely small monkey. Kind of looks like a lemur, though, if you think about it. Okay. I end up spending a lot of time in the enclosures, feeding them, playing with them, and cleaning, and talking to them, and sharing dreams and hopes and wishes, and building a relationship with them. I added to Learning how to integrate into their society. I teach them how to act like people. Biting them. Oh. These tiny monkeys <laughs> are extremely cute, and therefore very popular. But the guests are there to see them, not a dirty 20-year-old in rubber boots. Sometimes when younger kids see me, they scream <laughs> or they think I am trapped. <laughs> what am I supposed to do when I'm being ogled from behind glass by families and school groups? Should I smile or is that creepy? Do I do tricks? Am I just another primate for the entertainment of the tourists? That's Monkey Man in the Tyne Valley. Dang. Justin, okay. I, I really like where you took that read, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a I mean it's a it's a thinker this one. Yeah. This one's a thinker. I have to imagine the only sort of reason people are confused when they see a human inside the monkey cage is a sort of adjacent confusion to seeing monkeys in an aquarium. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So so they aren't used to seeing monkeys and then they see what appears to be a huge sort of uh man monkey. Mm -hmm. And that that's upsetting because they thought it was just going to be, you know, more fish. Right. Could you put on a marmoset costume Fun. to do the cleaning? And cool. then I'm not saying you would trick the audience, but the audience would be like, oh, I get it. And that you don't really have to do anything else at that point. That's very Ace Ventura uh, lateral thinking, uh, Travis. Yeah. I'm really, oh, really shit. here for it. You're right. Here's what you shouldn't do. Tricks. Okay. Unless you're talking about sleight of hand. And actually, now that I say that, I'm kind of into that. If okay. they're just like looking at monkeys and then you're like holding up cards, once again, in silence, because you're on the other side of glass. Oh, and like you man. hold up a card and then you shuffle and you pull that card out again. That'd this be pretty is, fun. This is good. Travis has just accidentally stumbled in his own just real goofball way into something very profitable and good. You go to zoos. And half the time, the freaking animals aren't even out because they're being mm -hmm. they're being lazy or exceptionally sad somewhere, and that's a <laughs> bummer because I wanted to see the very rare tiger. Yes. So what do I do? Well, I just look over a little bit, still inside the tiger pit, but there's like a little there's a busker down there performing a song or doing <laughs> some tricks or, or some sort of new dance that I've never or, seen. Or just, perhaps a living statue. Ooh, a living statue that. that is doing the flossing dance that everyone loves so much. Maybe. And then it's like, well, the very rare tiger didn't show up, <laughs> but that living statue is doing flossing so nice. Well, maybe <laughs> it's a large screen that's showing trailers from the latest Hollywood releases. Wouldn't it's that be good. fun? I love that's it. Be, and then, oh, there could be like a bit where like the tiger pushes his head through like the MGM thing in the movie. You remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, that's good. And by good. this point, listen, when we were, and now the rare tiger comes out and everyone's like, hey, go away, rare tiger. I'm watching this busker and this Goosebumps 2 trailer. And yeah. the tiger is like, well, guess I better hit the road. And he packs up his bendel stick and he shovels on down to a different zoo. This is good. Yeah. It would be hard to resist the temptation to just not start screaming. <laughs> To just like help me, I'm trapped in here with all these tiny yeah. monkeys. So much for help. sure. Or could or, you train the monkeys to like swarm you when you make a certain noise, and that way, like people see you and they're like, "What's that person doing?" And like you make the noise, and then all the monkeys hop on you, and you act like you're, you know, playing under the apes thing in there. Yeah, you could also, um, when the kids look scared, you say, "Oh, don't worry, I'm not trapped in here with these monkeys. They're <laughs> trapped in here with me." And then you just start kicking ass. <laughs> you fight the small monkeys with all of your power. I, well, 20 small monkeys equals one adult person. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. How many small monkeys could you fight, Griffin, at one time? Shit, dude. Um, Marmosets, not tamarins. 
Mm, yeah, because it's different answers for both. Uh, it depends on if they have tools, rudimentary tools, vines, sticks. Uh, Some nut, of them do. Nuts. Okay. Do I have tools? Yes. What do I no, have? Vines and sticks. One of them's oh, the got thumbs. Time. Well, mm-hmm. they. I think pretty much all of them do have the thumbs, right? No, opposable thumbs are what separate us from the from the other primates. That's what makes us. So but this special. has been a while. They probably they probably figured it, figured out. it out. I'm saying, aquarium yeah, they've been at the zoo. They've been around people. They've seen right. People I'm saying use a, aquarium yeah. monkeys see a lot of thumb, so they've probably pieced put two and two together. Um, and they said our baby should have thumbs, and then they did. I'd say in an enclosure, right? No, like mm-hmm. a bunch of trees going around where they could like scatter and then mm-hmm. organize and Ewok me. Um, I would say as many as you could fit in the enclosure. I could probably. Oh, really? Like, now, are you dirty. talking wall to wall? If we went wall to wall, ceiling to floor marmosets. Yeah, man. I mash, I make monkey wine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's shit. a. I didn't mention that there's a huge spike pit in the middle, and all oh. the monkeys are extremely good at the. Uh, this is Sparta kick. They can yeah. all do it very oh, all good, right. but they have to work together to time mm. it properly, or else sure. they can't do it. I yeah. mean, here's the thing: you get me one push broom, I'll make sure work of those monkeys using the same pit, the very same pit. They all have tiny push brooms too. Yeah. Oh, so now it's like field hockey, but we're all the puck. Or but ball. you also know all of their names. Oh, I that's true. Yeah, that's a good one. They, you know all of their names, and your arms are both on fire. Yeah. All right. But on purpose, like they didn't set them on fire. Oh, like it's you, a weapon you fire. Like, weapon fire. Weapon fire. You weaponized cool. your arms. <laughs> but here's the thing: two of the marmosets are on fire too. Yeah. <laughs> Which two? The biggest two. The angriest ones. All right. The well, biggest, yeah. angriest ones. Yeah, I don't... Steve and Deborah. <laughs> Damn it, I said I wasn't going to do Steve anymore. I'm yeah, sorry, Steve. A short-lived Fuck. promise. <laughs> a truce with Deborah's and Steve's has come to an end <laughs> so quickly. I, you know, can you, oh, mm-hmm. can you get, <laughs> can you get, a marmoset costume. Okay, now Justin. <laughs> yeah, let him I don't finish. know. Let okay. him no, you get a marmoset costume, you do your grim work cleaning up all the ones that died overnight when you go in there. <laughs> <laughs> you go in there. Scoop them out of the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop out all the floating marmosets. You dress as a giant marmoset. And then when families come, you <laughs> stare at them and I and say, I am Crobdor. I am the one who has grown, and I am the one that will lead my people in a rebellion against you. This imprisonment will be short-lived. We have marked the faces of all who come to ogle us, and they will be the first that we rip from their skulls and wear as adornments as we uh, continue our conquest of your pitiful species. Your thumbs will not save you. I am Krobnor, and enjoy these last precious moments of human dominance. Justin, can I tell you what's really fucking me up right now? What's that? I can't, for the life of me, tell if you remember that but 10 minutes ago, I said Marmoset costume. Yeah, but listen. <laughs> His had more stuff, Trap. His had no, more. No, no, to- yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. He had more joke. Okay. I had more joke. I'm assuming Griffin will cut yours out because it couldn't make the cut. Yeah, oh, I we see. Cut all of- yeah, we do maybe that a lot put, with Travis. Maybe put a cardboard stand up of you in every enclosure in the aquarium. Okay. So, so then people, people just come to, to ex- yeah, they just come to expect yeah. it. And then when they see you move, they'll lose their goddamn shit. Or they come to one where like you're on break and so you're not in it and they'll think that they did eat you. Oh no. What if you had a food truck? Okay. All right. So then if people saw you in there, like they'd be bummed because you're not a marmoset, but also they'd be like, hell yeah, because I wanted to get a chimichanga. And I know that you sell mm-hmm. them from your truck. If there's one thing I know about irascible little monkeys, it's that they hate storming anything that has human food in it and tearing it out of our fleshy thumbed hands. <laughs> they love waiting in line and paying money for things. There was a, um, Rachel and I, when we were in Japan, we went to this monkey park that was on a mountain, which is basically a... um and they just have a lot of monkeys and they, they feed them and you can look at them. And it's quite a hike up that mountain to get to the monkey park. And the whole time you're going up there, there are signs, so many signs. Uh, and each one warns you about one thing you can do when you reach the peak of this mountain to fuck up just 
irreconcilably uh, with with vis a vis these monkeys. Do not look at them in the eyeballs. It said you're gonna want to. Don't look at them in the <laughs> eyeballs. No flash photography. Don't even don't have food. Don't have eaten food and have food stink on you. Still, <laughs> don't say the word Doritos out loud. A kid said Doritos out loud, and six monkeys drew and quartered them last night. <laughs> Monkeys are ferocious when it comes to our food. They love this stuff. There's nothing they won't do. <laughs> but they work there at the food truck I came up with. Yeah. My, oh, my oh I see. They, my thing, it's their job. So they're not going to get high on their own supply. I will say the best thing about that monkey park, you get to the top of the mountain after hiking for an hour. I don't really want to see these fucking murder, murder <laughs> balls anymore. <laughs> I'm going to head right back down. This was good cardio, but bad tourism. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, let's take a quick break, a quick sojourn, uh, and then we'll get right back to the jokes and stuff. 